Hey YouTube, this is Imperial Orc Fist. This is me. Hi. Um, so I haven't got the normal video camera, and I'm using the webcam at the moment. So uh, I should be getting the proper video camera uh, back at I think it's 27th. So a few days. So um, I just decided just to give you a quick update on what I've been doing. So sorry, this is going to be a bit of a shaky cam. There we go. Right, here we've got tactical squad that which I was working on uh, with the armor cast um, accessories added to it, sort of the muscle flashes. So this is the last lot I've already got, so um, I'm going to order some more. So uh, I'm working with them at the moment. Uh, I've just finished this. Uh, I was going to bring up a uh, video about librarian but then I decided that something went wrong with it so um decided not to. So um okay, it's a bit more light. I'm sorry about the video quality, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update before Christmas. And um uh, yeah so here he is. So he's made out of Black Reach Captain. Uh he's got lightning coming out of his hands, so I've done a bit of a lightning glare effect on his left side, his left He's got a lightning sword. I've tried out the um, with my bring this out a bit, hopefully it'll stop me focus. Uh, my I've used a uh, girl painting sort of technique. I use a uh, one which has got a bit more lightning on it, uh, but I just prefer this. And I use a sort of little white sort of line, it's not a full white line for the lightning. But I like this way, I'm gonna do this for now. From now on. So heavily washed, you probably can't see. This is a uh, Codicea, what, what is his name? Codicea uh, Porter. So um, his name is taken from the Ryan's World book. That's a lot of it, so I follow the fluff. Uh, Shades of Codicea. I've got two swords, which means it's Codicea. To be, uh, I can never say it's Epic Story, I think it is. You need three, and to be a senior chief librarian, you need four. And uh, the one down, ne uh, the lowest one has got uh, one, as expected. So green stuff is hair. Uh, got the idea from Honest Calgar and uh, all painter nerd. I put a uh, skull thing on there. You can't see this. I'm sorry, but this is just a general outline. I I'll do. I'll probably put some um, photos on at the end of this video. Give you a better view of it or um, in my proper videos I'll add some more. So there he is. I'm working on him for a moment. Uh, just looks red from what I'm seeing in my computer of what this is turning out to be. But um, this is the Inquisitor, so he's just in the starting stages just being down a base coat. So so far I've put a base coat down of uh, red gore and I've highlighted it with uh, blood red, not that you can see it. Uh, I've put some grey down. So I successfully green stuff the cape, I think it's actually come out really, really well. So I cut a bit away just to put a backpack on. And uh, I've just ran, just put a uh, coat of Codex Grey on just to see if it looks right. And it does. I'm really happy about it. So uh, at the moment I'm working on this, this part, I just decided to just do this part at the start. So his hammer's blue at the moment, you think, oh blue hammer, but it's going to have lightning effects on, so that's something to work on. And um, because he's going to be a Blood Ravens, I think it's going to be Captain Angelos from uh, Dawn of War for the series of games. So um, he's going to have a, a raven there, a two-headed raven of course, as he did in 40k. So there we go, that's him. Now, um, people haven't seen my orc army and I apologise, um, I will get round to doing it. Uh, that's a promise, uh, but I'm not going to do it with this camera, but so far I've just got a few bits to do, then all the orcs I've got at the moment are painted, so uh, this is a truck, which I got off a uh, tray that I had some Ogre Kingdoms, but then I got rid of them for lots of orcs, and uh, some codexes that I didn't have, which I wanted to have. Um, so here we go, I uh, haven't got many orcs bits left so I had to have a bit of a random conversion because it's in a pretty poor state. Not how how I would build it. I've snipped off um just bring these down. This 
Oh, yeah, fix that. Um, yeah, so uh, it used to have some um, things which come around here. Uh, like, like another one there, but I just hate them because you can't put any models in them whatsoever. Uh, so I've taken that out. So yeah, I've got that to do. That's going to be in bad moon colours. And I've, uh, I've got some orcs to do, and I've got this guy. Uh, I, he's basically a normal uh, mega knob. In, yeah, it's a knob in mega armor. Really do like this model. They're nice and funny. You can see the little, little grin. Orcs are, I just love the orcs. They just charge headlong and just a bit strange. So, what I've done to this model just to make it slightly different is this is going to be the leader or like a wild bat, banner bearer. I don't care if you can't have them in the actual game, it's just a nice bit of uh, narrative on it. So, uh, this is like uh, the warlords rushing here. So, uh, I've used a dreadnought banner that you get from the ironclad dreadnought. I've chopped off the imperial eagle and shoved the space marine head on, which I get to use for. Uh, UV blue or something like that, just to make some sort of guts coming out of the head look so it looks like it's just been ripped off and chucked on a banner. So I think that I may have a captured Space Marine banner or oh we'll fight that, I'm not sure. Please give me some ideas if you want to see an orc banner or a space marine banner. It's a space marine banner but I'll just show you that orc to nick it. Then I've got a little bike uh, thing where you put flag on if you want to the bike and flag uh, Oh, a bike with a flag. So um, the old orcs sort of uh, I don't know when the first orcs came out, but they sort of instead of having had it, having banners like uh, this big one, they used to have a banner post. Then they actually have some canvas coming coming from it. So I'm going to do something like that. So I'm going to paint this one up. Work in progress. I've already got five mega knobs. Let's just get add to number so I got them on the trade and he's relatively cheap or good trade so uh, there we go last thing I just want to show you because it's just a quick video I just don't want to show you anything properly because uh, this camera doesn't do anything justice okay so probably looking at these and going huh? how, how is that connected to 40k because I just do really 40k and battle to the gothic uh, so the only way you can probably connect it is um, these fourth world icons. So you've got a skull and uh, some curiosities. Now, uh, I'm not going to tell you what this is, but c certain people know, like I think uh, Temple Crusade Zero One, if, he's, if he watches this, you can, let, can probably guess what this is, and because he's seen some of them uh, first hand, and uh, Chuffy might, have, uh, might know what these are. Uh, so, but if you want to see a completed one, completed one of these, uh, get along to Thraxville's channel uh, and mine is Augustus Cowgirl's channel because he's got one of these. This is just the arms of something, so I, I, I'm pretty sure you can guess. Uh, so, I'm painting this up at the moment, this is just the arms I'm working up at the moment, just finishing them off. So I need to add a have a biro tip. Then. So uh, just have a guess and comment. I want to see how many people can guess what it is. Uh, so we've got magnets on there, so I can change the arms around. I think it's going to be easy to tell what it is or what it should look like. Uh, so they're for both the same thing, really. So I just need to finish up this one. This one needs to finish up. Okay. So. Um, out of the way. Time for a shaky cam. So um, there you go. That's certain things I've got. Uh, I've got to be working on over Christmas. Uh, I'll just show you this very quickly. Uh, this large space around me and this table. It's all clear, which is very unlikely in my room. Uh, uh, and this is because I'm having. A large table being put here, a large gaming table. So uh, that's something to look forward to for me. Uh, I've got, I've already got a small gaming table. It's um, I'm not sure how big it is. It's, no, I'm not, I'm not sure, but it, it's a small one. 
but this whole room is going to be occupied by one. So uh, I think it's, I think it's when Planet Strike got released that year, and on that game day they did a board which was uh, it was a sort of uh, city board with um, bastions all around it. You might have seen it in some one of my videos. I might might have deleted it, but. Um, and replaced it with some others, but if you have been with my channel for a little while, you would have seen it. Uh, but it's a whole bastion sort of wall I've been working on, so I've got about half of the way done on that. But um, I've actually got the board, which I was deciding I was going to have floorboard, but I've used lots of inspiration from what uh, Templars Crusader One um, has done, how he's done his board. So uh, it's a apocalypse wall which he used for his uh, really large apocalypse game. So head on to his channel because then you might get an idea of what I'm really planning to do. I've had this plan for years and years before I even looked at YouTube and it's really good now it's actually coming together. So I haven't got chipboard or uh, polystyrene, I've got some styrofoam and uh, it was going to be really expensive but I managed to get, uh, we managed to get a bit off it. So um, that's going to be put in this space where I'm actually sitting now. Uh, it's a Christmas present because my uh, parents bought it for me. So uh, that's going to be put in. I just need to um, cut it all out. So you may see an outdoor video at some point. Um, it's probably a bit done. So I'm going to need to cut it away, um, sculpt it out. I'm going to put bunkers, um, trenches, because the board wouldn't be the same without trenches. So I'm not going to use a forge rod stuff, because actually I think it looks very all very well, but I was going to sculpt some. And it's going to have weapon emplacements like for Imperial Guard. So that's uh, something I'm going to be working on. Uh, this is going to be used for a campaign, so uh, I'm trying to persuade people I go to the gaming club to actually get involved in YouTube and uh, we might just actually start a gaming club within YouTube and this will be uh, like the starting game, just a lot really really large profits game just to launch the club, so uh, yeah it's going to be here, I'm not sure where it's going to happen, it'll probably be quite a few months away because it's going to take ages to build the board and actually organise it because it's actually going to be a campaign, maybe a small campaign around Ryan's world, uh, so uh, there's a bit of history, um, a bit of uh, fluff in there, it always makes, I always feel it makes a, um, a battle better, so uh, a bit more enjoyable. So that'll be using my small board, one of them will be, uh, well two players will be on that and the other players will be on this. So uh, keep watching, please subscribe, thanks to my, I think I've got 11 subscribers now which is good, not compared to anybody else's, who's got like 2,000, I think Temple's Crusades just breached for 2,000, and Marley's Augustus Calgar, I don't know how many he's got, but, um, and lots of others have got some, but I'd really like to boost the uh, amount of subscribers and people watch my um, channel with better quality videos and more stuff going on. So. Uh, I'd like to wish everybody a uh, happy Christmas, hope you get everything you want. Uh, so yeah, ha just keep keep going, please keep on commenting, uh, thanks for people who commented uh, so far on this channel. This is, uh, I've had a channel for half a year now, so, yeah, just under half a year, probably. yeah. So, um, hope I can uh, keep producing good material. And please comment because if there's something you'd like to see or um, something to for me to improve on, please let me know because I've only just started this and it'd be great to hear somebody else's opinion and I may be able to incorporate that into my videos or make it happen. So if they wanted me to do more ba uh, battle report, I may be able to do that. I probably I am going down to uh, play a couple of games on the 29th hopefully, so um, I will take my video camera along and if we actually get some good material I may put it up, but uh, there we go. Now my time's running out watching that, so uh, thanks very much for watching, happy Christmas, please comment, rate, subscribe, this is uh, Imperial Fist out.